So about seven years ago, I was probably in the same position that many of you are right now. You're early in your engineering degree and you've got this inspiration and desire to make the most of your time at college, but you're just not sure the best way to do that, so you feel a little bit lost and maybe even a little bit unmotivated. Well, it's been a little over three years now since I graduated from university, and I think now that a few years have passed, I've truly felt all the effects of the decisions I made during my time at university. And so that's why in this video, I wanna share my honest college advice and give you the key takeaways that I think if I would have known sooner, would have just made the whole experience so much better. I'm gonna split this advice up into a few different categories and I'm gonna start with the main reason that most people typically go to university, which is the education. All right, so one of the most important things I learned during my time at university was that education is not about memorizing formulas or acing exams. Instead, it's really about understanding what you're learning at its core. Civil engineering is all about problem solving and the only way to become good at solving problems is to really understand the why behind how things work. For example, when I was in first year studying structural mechanics, I used to just rewrite example problems over and over without fully grasping what it was that I was even solving. And honestly, this was getting me by and I was able to get good grades doing this, but the problem was is that the things that I was learning weren't carrying over beyond the questions that I was solving in class. And where I first began to notice this was during one of the first real life like assignments that I got during this course. In this assignment, I had to do a load takedown and calculate the axial forces in a truss. It was weird because at the time I could do the individual questions perfectly fine, but I really struggled to link all the different things we had learnt and apply them in a systematic and logical way. It didn't hit me straight away, but eventually the bottom line was this. Rote learning and memorizing equations might get you good grades, but surface level learning isn't gonna help you to become a good engineer. Once I had this realization, I changed things up and actually focused on learning for understanding and all of a sudden my study sessions actually got a lot better and my grades didn't suffer at all. I also found myself asking a lot more questions in class, regardless of how dumb they felt. And I also ended up taking a lot more advantage of things like YouTube videos, textbooks, and even talking to the professors after lectures just to make sure that I fully understood things. Overall though, I think my recommendation here is quite simple. Basically, I think you should treat every topic like a puzzle that you're trying to solve. Don't be afraid to spend extra time figuring something out. And remember, everything is figure outable if you put in the effort. All right, and the next piece of advice I have for you is to keep good records. I know at the time it's easy to think that you'll remember everything because you're using all the knowledge that you're gaining all the time, but spoiler alert, you won't. Time will pass and things will slip your mind and it'll be like starting all over again if you don't have any resources to look back on. For instance, during my fourth year, I remember desperately trying to find some old notes on reinforced concrete design because I needed them for a project I was doing. But unfortunately, as I was looking for them, I realized that I had lost the files because I hadn't backed them up properly on my OneDrive. I was pretty upset at the time and I had to spend hours relearning that content and recreating those notes, which wasted so much time. From then on, I made a habit of properly checking that I had a backup copy of all my notes and assignments and thankfully that didn't happen to me again. Personally I'd recommend that you get some sort of cloud storage subscription like Google Drive or OneDrive so that everything isn't just sitting on a hard drive somewhere and also if you take your notes in a physical book you should really take photos of each page and keep a copy of your work saved in the cloud so you never lose it. Also if I can just say one more thing on taking notes don't just stop on taking them, really try and organize them, create summaries, and just make them as clear as possible. Trust me, future you will thank you when you're scrambling to remember the details on a topic you studied three years ago, and you've got a nicely crafted summary and plenty of legible examples just waiting there for yourself. Also, another really cool resource that you can use to help understand some of the topics you're studying is the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. For those of you that haven't heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. On Skillshare, there are thousands of classes led by industry experts across things like design, marketing, productivity, and much, much more. Each class is comprised of a series of bite-sized pre-recorded lessons that you can complete at your own pace. Most classes on Skillshare take a learn-by-doing approach to teaching, where members are encouraged to create a project while taking the class, and often at the end of the class, people share their project with the community and get feedback. For engineering students in particular, I think the classes on things like foundation 
computational maths and science, as well as programs like Excel and Python are incredibly useful. I've recently been taking a class on Python and even though I'm only a few lessons into it, already it's given me some great ideas on how to better approach some of the tedious calculations I've been doing at work. Anyways, if you're interested in giving Skillshare a go, be sure to check them out using my link in the description as the first 500 people to use it will receive a one month free trial. We get full access to all of their classes. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Okay, next I wanna talk about personal projects. And I have mentioned these before in other videos, but these really are your golden ticket to standing out as a civil engineering student. Now, let's be honest guys, university assigned projects can be great for building basic knowledge, but they're often pretty generic. And if the project is a group project, by the time you share the workload around, you often end up only learning about 25% of what was even involved. I think for the amount of effort and coordination that goes into these projects, they aren't very good value. On the other hand though, personal projects will give you the full exposure to the project and also allow you to choose exactly what you wanna work on. Obviously, when you choose to do a personal project, the entire thing is driven by you. So things like the quality of what you produce and what times you choose to work on it is completely up to you. Unfortunately though, I know time is often quite limited during the semester and the thought of piling on extra work might seem like the last thing that you want to do, but these projects don't always have to be mammoth tasks and they can be something smaller, but if you do want to take on something bigger, you could leave it for the mid-year or end of year break. In saying that though, even small projects like learning how to design a simply supported steel or concrete beam will teach you so much and give you the hands-on experience that lectures or group projects simply won't. If you're unsure of what sort of things you could do a personal project on, I've made a full video explaining a few different projects that would be a great start, and I'll link you to this video at the end in case you're interested. Anyhow, I really do think that the skills and confidence you gain from doing personal projects will completely differentiate you from your peers, and they're honestly one of the best things that you can do to prepare yourself for your actual working life after university. Now, talking about getting good experience, the next thing I want to talk about is intern. What I think is really important to learn about internships is that they're not just about getting a foot in the door, they're about figuring out what you like and what you don't like. While I was at uni, I did internships at both small and large consulting firms and the experiences couldn't have been more different. At the large company, I got moved around to a bunch of different teams and got to see what various types of civil engineers do in fields like transportation, geotechnical and structural. And at the small firm, I got to see a different side of structural engineering. Engineering. At this firm, I got exposure to all the different non-technical jobs that the engineers had to do there. In hindsight, I think both of these experiences were really valuable, but I just wish I got started earlier and got more of them. I think that getting a variety of experience as early as possible will not only make you more versatile, but will also help you to discover what excites you the most. And don't be discouraged if your first internship isn't glamorous. Even small roles can teach you a lot and end up boosting your resume. Just remember to take photos, keep evidence of your work, and ask for references. This sort of information will be invaluable when you apply for jobs later on. All right, and the next thing I wanna talk about is time management and priorities. I feel like time management is one of those things that everyone talks about, but few people actually get under control while they're studying. For me at first, it took a lot of trial and error to find a system that actually worked, but eventually everything fell into place and I didn't feel too overwhelmed. Personally, I used a combination of making course assessment lists, making study timetables around exam periods, and also just keeping a digital sticky note on my computer desktop with a daily to-do list. But simply put, I think the key is to find a method that works for you. Whether it's a physical planner, apps like Notion or OneNote, or even just setting reminders on your phone, keep experimenting until you find your groove. Also, another key self-improvement that will pay off big time is learning to prioritize. As a student, I feel like you'll quickly realize that there's only so many hours in a day, so you've got to learn to be okay with this and not try to work around the clock. Being able to properly prioritize gives you a lot more freedom and will naturally take off a bit of the pressure. It'll also allow you to focus on the tasks that have the biggest impact, whether that's a major assignment or preparing for a big exam. And don't forget to schedule some downtime. University is definitely not a sprint, so be sure to take care of yourself. 
Sometimes just an hour or two can make all the difference. Okay, and finally, let's talk about the journey. College is a pretty unique chapter in your life, and without a doubt, it can be so much more than just studying and building a career. Some of my best memories from university aren't about lectures or exams, they're about jokes with friends and going to campus events. Yes, your grades and career are important, but don't lose sight of the bigger picture. This is the only time in your life where you'll be in college at this exact age, surrounded by peers who are on the same journey as you. Make the most of it, go to class, attend events, and build relationships with your classmates. These connections will not only make college more enjoyable, but could also lead to opportunities down the line. Realistically, like a lot of things, balance is key. Work hard, but don't forget to have fun and take care of yourself. Overall, really try to just enjoy the process because before you know it, you'll be looking back on these years as some of the most formative and best ones of your life. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see what my life looks like after university, you might like to check out either of these two videos here where I take you through a day in the life of a structural engineer. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.